Yes, yes, yes. Good morning, world. Good morning, Montreal. You know what it is, your boy Todd Smith, representing Smitty City, representing all of Montreal. This is how we do, man. February 4th, 2015. It's about 8.20 a.m. About to go inside CJAD 800 AM radio. Big interview, man. Andrew Carter, morning radio show. I'm truly blessed, truly honored. Got to shout out CJAD and of course Montreal Community Cares Foundation and everybody out there supporting the movement right now and supporting all these positive things going on in the city. Dave Lockhart, Shame Dog, this one's for you, baby. Hells up. We got Capital D, Run 613, document and everything, man. You know how we do. We at CJAD like to encourage people who do good in our community. That's why we have the CJAD Hero of the Month. And today I want to introduce you to uh, Todd Smith, who is a, a youth leader, integration aid at Orchard Elementary School in LaSalle. And uh, Mr. Smith teaches during the day, coaches youth in the evenings, promotes youth and music, selflessly hosts events each month on his personal time, hosts two radio shows, Youth are his passion. He puts everything into uh, making a difference for them, and uh, it's good to have you. Thank you. How it's, are you? I'm doing well. So uh, why are you, why are you so you don't need the headset? You can take it off. Perfect. Why are you such a do-gooder? What made you? Uh, what made you? Because you used to be in the corporate world, right? Yes, I was. So tell uh, me your story. I was working in a corporate environment. Um, I started very young, working in telemarketing companies uh, when I was 17 years old, um, and by 20 years old, I was able to be a manager at a telemarketing company in no Montreal called New Line Publishing. Uh, taught me a lot about uh, you know social skills, how to sure. sell, how to how to deal with people, how to deal with different characteristics of people, different egos, personalities. So at 20, I, I was doing that. I had a team of eight people, um, and I moved. And on. probably making good money for a 20 great year money, old. Yeah. great money. And uh, from there, I did that for a few years, and I moved on to uh, an even higher level of corporate. I started working at Royal Bank um, at the call center on University and um, René Levesque. Yeah. And uh, we were in the TELUS building. I was working in the visa department. Um, I had a team of 16 agents there um, dealing with visa calls, visa customer service. Uh, so my role was to show them and teach them how to you know, treat the, handle the call correctly, irate calls, this and that. Um, I loved it. I enjoyed it. But after a while, I felt I needed something more for me, more for my soul um, to fulfill what I always wanted to do, which was help people. Wow, and that's a very different life. I mean, you, yes. you know, you've got a basically a, a nine to five or whatever your hours are, but you leave your job at home. Right, exactly. But well, now you're in a completely different situation. Oh, a completely now. different situation. But you know what, Andrew? It's the best situation I could yeah. have ever been in. Uh, I'm blessed to have the opportunity to work with so many children, um, so many teenagers, be involved in my community where I grew up, uh, and I'm blessed to work at Orchard Elementary School every day because it actually, in essence, is my old elementary school. It used to be Cecil Newman School, yeah. uh, where I went. I, you know, from kindergarten to grade six, graduated from there. Um, and now they, what they did is they shifted the school over about five minutes away to a different building, about seven or eight years ago. Uh, shifted the kids, shifted the teachers, and changed the name to Orchard. But in essence, like I said, it's it's my old elementary school. Todd Smith is our uh, CJ80 Hero of the Month. Can you um, tell me about uh, about what kind of kids go to go to Orchard School? Like, wh what's the neighborhood like? Great kids, honestly, yeah. great kids. But it's uh, sort of a mix of incomes, I would assume. Yes, right? it's a yeah. mix of incomes, a yeah. uh, mix of cultures. We have all different kind of eth uh, ethnicities of, of, of children and, and their parents and their backgrounds. Um, but it, it's such a beautiful place. It's a small school in LaSalle uh, on 80th Avenue and Bain. Um, and like it's, it's just a beautiful place to be because we're only 200 kids. Uh, but the things we do there are so immense. Like we have robotics, we have Lego engineering, mm -hmm. we have music, we have all kind of sports programs. Uh, right now, our basketball sports teams, we're elementary level. We're actually playing high school teams. We're, we're going to play our first high school game, our girls team. We're playing LCCHS High School, which is also in the South, uh, February 11th. That's so, next, so cool. Next Wednesday. So it's yeah, the first time ever. I bet they're excited about that. Very excited. Uh, really? and we all, I work very, very closely with the phys ed teacher there, Mr. Mike Poutre, uh, and the music teacher, uh, Ms. Dara Weiss. Yeah. Uh, and myself and her, we co collaborate and we do talent shows once, uh, maybe once every two, three months at the school, uh, where our own kids are, are getting to you know right. used to performing and yeah. expressing themselves. So it's it's great. It's great. So why why do you do this? I mean, do you understand what it, what an impact that you have on these kids? Like they're, they're going to remember you for the rest of their lives. You know what, Andrew? I, I I don't. I guess I don't really understand it because I just do it because I believe it has to be done. Um, myself growing up in the area of LaSalle, I didn't really have. The, the right mentors that I that I could have had in the sense of 
role models to really guide me and, 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 you know, help me pursue my dreams and my passions. You know, my, 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 my mother, who I love tremendously, she was my rock. She is my everything to this day, but she was taking care of myself and my brother. So she was working two, three jobs to support us. Right. Um, single mom, single mom, you know wow. what I mean? Uh, yeah. since I was 11 and it's, it's just, like I said, I grew up with it. I, I understood what it, what it meant to not have somebody be there when you want to quit a team to say, no, what are you, crazy? You're going to quit? Keep yeah. going. you yeah. got talent. you got potential. Keep yeah. going. It makes all the difference. It makes all the difference. Right? So I, I grew up from always thinking that I want to be that difference in, in some kid's life or many kids' lives, and now I'm blessed to do it. Todd, you're an inspiration. It's, Thank you. It really is nice of you to come in and talk about what you do. Well, it's great to be we'll here. Put more, uh, the, we'll put a, 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 f- a full whole story about Todd Smith up on our CJD website, he is this uh, month's uh, hero of the uh, of the month. Thank you. If I could just add one more thing, um, of course. Outside of the school uh, and outside of coaching kids and helping them with their sports, I also run my own uh, entertainment company called Smitty City, uh, which is really directed to putting on talent shows for youth. Um, I, I I feel it's very important to build a platform um, and build a stage for right. youth to have. Uh, be able to express themselves and be confident and gain self confidence. Smitty City. Smitty City. S M I T T Y C I T T Y. Okay. Um, we can look that up on yeah, the Yeah, SmittyCity.com. Uh, okay. yeah, and when Facebook. you say youth, you mean like 55 and under type thing? Sometimes, no. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, five, 5 to 21. 5 to 21, and I give them the chance to express themselves in song, Sounds dance, cool. rap, songwriting. Thanks. The whole nine. Thanks a lot. Andrew Carter, the legend. Thank Todd, you for having so, me. Please. <laughs> Todd Smith.